Grab your dive gear and prepare for an underwater quest like no other. Ocean Explorer's mission, revealing whales, dolphins, and rays, transforms young learners into intrepid marine biologists, setting sail on a digital submarine to unlock the mysteries of the deep. Their crucial mission, to locate, study, and protect some of the ocean's most magnificent and intelligent creatures. With every dive, sharks have skeletons made of cartilage, not bone. This makes them lighter and more flexible in the water. Sharks have special organs called ampullae of Lorenzini that let them sense electric fields, even the heartbeat of hidden prey. Sharks constantly lose and regrow teeth. Some species can produce up to 30,000 teeth in a lifetime. Sharks have skeletons made of cartilage, not bone. This makes them lighter and more flexible in the water. Adult walruses can weigh up to 1.5 tons, 3,000 pounds, and grow over 11 feet, 3.3 meters. Long males are much larger than females. Walruses have sensitive whiskers, vibrissa, up to 700 of them, used to detect food on the ocean floor. Walruses primarily eat benthic invertebrates, especially clams, snails, worms, and other seafloor creatures. Orcas are easily recognizable with their striking black and white coloration, which helps with camouflage when hunting. Orcas have complex brains and exhibit behaviors like teaching, learning, cooperation, and problem solving. Orcas in marine parks have shown signs of stress and shortened lifespans. The Blackfish documentary brought widespread attention to this issue. Orcas are easily recognizable with their striking black and white coloration, which helps with camouflage when hunting. Crabs are arthropods, related to lobsters, shrimp, and even insects. They have hard exoskeletons, shells, made of chitin. Crabs have five pairs of legs, with the front pair modified into claws, chele, used for defense and feeding. Crabs have complex behaviors, including problem solving, communication, and using tools. Some decorate their shells for camouflage. Crabs are a key part of many ecosystems and are eaten by fish, birds, humans, and even other crabs. Crabs are arthropods, related to lobsters, shrimp, and even insects. Humpback whales are large baleen whales, growing up to 60 feet, 18 meters, long, and weighing up to 40 tons. Humpbacks are found in oceans worldwide, from the polar regions to the tropics, and migrate thousands of miles annually. Humpback whales migrate up to 16,000 miles, 25,000 kilometers, round trip every year the longest migration of any mammal. Humpbacks use a unique technique called bubble net feeding. They blow bubbles in a circle to trap and herd small fish like herring or krill. Humpback whales are large baleen whales. Starfish don't have a brain or blood. Instead, they use a water vascular system to circulate nutrients and move. Starfish move using hundreds to thousands of tiny tube feet on their underside, which also help them grip and pry open prey. Starfish have simple eye spots at the tip of each arm that detect light and dark.
Mantas are not fish in the bony sense, like tuna or salmon. They are cartilaginous fish, related to sharks, skates, and other rays. Their skeletons are made entirely of cartilage. The giant oceanic manta ray is the largest ray in the world. Their wingspan can reach a colossal 7 meters, 23 feet, or more, and they can weigh up to 2,000 kilograms, 4,400 pounds. Mantas are not fish in the bony sense, Frogs are found on every continent except Antarctica, in nearly every kind of environment from rainforests to deserts. Frog croaks are like nature's dating profiles. Some can be heard from miles away. Frogs in North America can survive being frozen solid during winter. Their bodies produce a natural antifreeze that protects their organs. Not all frogs lay eggs in water. Frogs are found on every continent except Antarctica in nearly every kind of environment from rainforests to deserts. Frog croaks are like nature's dating profiles. Some can be heard from miles away. Frogs in North America can survive being frozen solid during winter. Sawfish are rays, not sharks. They belong to the same group as stingrays and skates, elasmo branches, and have flattened bodies with gills on the underside. Sawfish are found in shallow coastal waters, estuaries, rivers, and mangrove swamps. Some species can even survive in freshwater. Sawfish mature late and produce few offspring which makes it difficult for populations to recover. Sawfish are rays, not sharks. They belong to the same group as stingrays and skates, elasmo branches, and have flattened bodies with gills on the underside. Sawfish are found in shallow coastal waters, estuaries, rivers, and mangrove swamps, Hammerhead sharks have a wide, flattened head called a cephalofoil, which looks like a hammer, hence the name. Hammerhead sharks have a wide, flattened head called a cephalofoil, which looks like a hammer, hence the name. Hammerhead species, like the scalloped and great hammerhead, are listed as endangered due to overfishing and finning. Hammerhead sharks have a wide, flattened head called a cephalofoil, which looks like a hammer, hence the name. Hammerhead sharks have a wide, flattened head called a cephalofoil, which looks like a hammer, hence the name. Hammerhead species, like the scalloped and great hammerhead, are listed as endangered. Dolphins are warm-blooded mammals. They breathe air through a blowhole and nurse their young with milk. Dolphins have large, complex brains relative to their body size. They exhibit advanced problem-solving, self-awareness, and social behaviors. Dolphins let one hemisphere of their brain rest at a time, allowing them to keep swimming and watch for predators. Dolphins are warm-blooded mammals. They breathe air through a blowhole and nurse their young with milk. Dolphins have large, complex brains relative to their body size. Yellow Tang for a home aquarium. Here are a few essential points from hobbyist sources. In summary, the yellow tang is a beautiful fish that is important for reef health. While it is a favorite for saltwater aquariums, its popularity highlights the successful balance between the aquarium trade and modern conservation efforts. Yellow tang for a home aquarium. Here are a few essential points from hobbyist sources. In summary, the yellow tang is a beautiful fish that is important for reef health. 
While it is a favorite for saltwater aquariums, its popularity highlights the successful balance between the aquarium trade and modern conservation efforts. cities and sunlit waters where discovery awaits around every kelp forest. Armed with special tools, explorers engage in thrilling, hands-on activities to reveal these gentle giants and graceful swimmers. They might deploy a hydrophone to listen for and identify the beautiful songs of different whales, use a camera drone to photograph a spinning pod of dolphins, or carefully clear a safe path for a gliding stingray.